What is up guys, it's Babushka here. Today I'm bringing you guys a video on 5 quick tips that I personally follow in order to rank up and play better in Valorant. So let's dive right into it. Alright, so tip number one. Um, you always want to warm up, right? So as you can see right now, I'm in um, the map selection uh, thing when you press play. So at the bottom left of the screen, like right here, when you press play, you'll see the practice mode. They moved it, it used to be on the top right, if you've played since the beta. So yeah, I just woke up and um, I'm gonna warm up because I want to play some Valorant. And yeah, first thing you want to do, warm up. Warm up with any other characters, it doesn't matter. But alright, so first thing for practice, uh, you might want to start with, uh, with the bots just to get your reflexes going, right? Maybe not focus too much on accuracy, just get the reflexes going. Usually that's what's lacking when you just hop on, on the game. You want to get the reflexes going, as you can see, I'm pretty rusty right now. Um, like I said, I just woke up, just get my coffee in. And once you practice with this a bit, right, you want to come over here. Practice your recoil a bit, because... Recoil mastery in this game is really important. It'll get you um, more consistent with how you get kills. And you also might want to practice some recoil transfer eventually when you get a bit better. So Alright, so like I said... First thing, you want to warm up. Second thing, never play when you're tired. Alright? Yesterday I played when I was tired. And I got uh, my rank. So I ranked actually right here. Gold 1. Which is alright. It's actually like pretty average. Um, it's actually right in the middle of what you can rank. I think I could have probably ranked Platinum at first. If I would have played Mornings and I would have played seriously. Uh, but I've been busy lately. So I've been playing at night mostly. And as you can see, like I had 5 defeats. Or four defeats actually three of which was unrated before the ranks came out and then when the ranks came out um i just played five games yesterday at night so i ended up uh getting gold one i still got four wins out of five for the ranks and um i didn't play too good if you look at my score so that's tip number two never play when you're tired always play when you're fresh if you're even if it's during the day you might want to take a break come back later to the station you know, like get an hour break, eat something, get a coffee, and you'll gain back some energy, or maybe drink a rock star or whatever. And then num tip number three would be um, add good players and queue with them. So, me, I have this habit from CSGO where, like, every time I have a good game, uh, where is it? So, you know, I'll go on a scoreboard. Well, this is not a good game for me, but it's actually a very horrible game. Anytime I'm negative, it's a horrible game. So, um,. But here, like my boy, uh, Perk 3 million. So I play with this guy in the beta. Um, and he was uh, popping off yesterday, even though it was playing at night. So yeah, Perk 3 million. Shout out to my boy. Um, I play with this guy in the beta. And we were both on the top of the leaderboard. So I added him. I was like, yo, if you want to play some more, let's play some more. So that's exactly what happened. And um, yeah, I have like 75 people. I mean, actually, a lot of you guys... So shout out to the subscribers <laughs> if you didn't subscribe already subscribe to the youtube channel support your boy babushka but yeah um a lot of people are are actually from the subscribers but a lot of people in there are also people that i just add after the game so when you have a good game or even if you have a bad one you know it, it, it doesn't hurt if the person's gonna add you back and they're good just do it man just add whoever's on top of the leaderboards and not only on the friendly team but on the enemy team too, because that well, like when the game is done, you can queue with the uh, like Zenny who was on the enemy team. So um, yeah, just make sure to add good people, queue with them, and that brings us to tip number three. Actually, the we're already at tip number three, but um, I'm just following my notes right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like second part of tip number three is like I said, queue with them, and ultimately that's like part three of tip number three. You want to actually do a five-man queue if possible. So you want to actually get your team going um, as much as you can, right? So I actually have some friends um, both online and in real life that play Valorant. So just play with people that you have affinity with and that you actually have some chemistry in-game. You know, like I have some real-life friends that I play with. And sometimes it's just like <laughs> we're just joking around. So we're not having a good game. So... To rank up, that's not a good match, man. You got to dif differentiate good friends 
for having fun with and video games and friends that you have or just friends online also that like you have good chemistry just try to think of it a bit like that you know strategically like building a team just think about it and not just go and like if you're like five guys who go in offensively they might work sometimes might not work the other time so try to like build a balanced team tip number four um it's kind of like related to tip number one so i said warm up right but what you actually want to do is actually practice on a daily right so like i said when you come and click on the play button on the bottom left right here you see the practice range right so when you click on the practice range you actually have like a lot of options you have the open range so you have access to a whole range of shooting tests spike planning spike diffusing spike planning and spike diffusing does not really have much practice to do the thing is i'm actually going to make more videos on this but there's strategic placements that you want to do in certain situations so if you're actually in the advance on site you might want to plant in the open if you're like if there's enemies close by then usually you want to plant the default spot and the default spot is usually a place with a lot of cover right so that's what you want to do with spike planning practice but there's not much practice to do you'll get the hang of it with um in game and just watching a few videos so subscribe i'll post those videos soon but you want to what you want to practice the most is shooting test every single day like just just book yourself for 15 20 minutes and just do it every day if you do it every day you'll get better like e even like if you don't got time for a game at least do the shooting test 15 to 20 minutes if you got only an hour i would spend probably like 40 minutes on this and call it a night like don't don't try to rush and play a game just because you want to play if your goal is to move up if your goal is just to have fun go ahead and have fun but if you're trying to move up take this thing th seriously so yeah um the other thing you want to do for practice is maybe like i said if you're limited on time for a day always 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 practice this and then you, what you want to do is also test your skills in game right so it's like it's almost like the school system if you want man like the theory is, isn't going to lead you anywhere if you only practice the theory man you got to put it in practice so do a bit of spike rush man it's a quick game you know when you come to the home page you know it tells you right here it lasts like 8 to 12 minutes usually and it lasts around like 10 minutes man right in the middle so it's like the best of uh first of four rounds there you go that's what it says best of four well not best of four best eight yeah <laughs> um but yeah it's just a 10 minute game man quick thing it's the same physics um you don't really get to like practice your main because the abilities are not used as much i find in spike rush so what i would say also is um when you plan on playing a competitive and you have a lot of time during the day play do your practice come play a spike rush or dive right away into an unrated but if you have a lot of time i would do one spike rush one unrated and then one competitive because I always find my second or third game will be when I start actually popping off, right? Because you're actually really warmed up. So even though you warmed up, you practice, you got to like warm up in a game before actually going into competitive. If you actually follow these things, I guarantee you, you will get better with time and you will rank up faster. So the last tip is playing with your main. Um... And with that, I actually want to put a little side note. You actually want to have two mains. All right. So get familiar with the characters. Mine, my two mains are Reyna and Omen. Sometimes it happens, rarely though, that Reyna and Omen are taken. So I'm stuck taking another player. Usually I'll take Phoenix, right? Um, that's just my play style. I like those three. A lot of people actually like those agents. But uh, yeah, you want to get comfortable with two mains because sometimes, man, you'll you'll um, you'll queue up, and and that's why when you queue up with five people, you know, you're guaranteed to get your main because you predetermined that. But when you queue up with only one person, which is I, I always recommend at least queue up with one person if you're serious about this. That's just my view on it. Um, I think you should get familiar with at least two, if not three, um, agents so that you can always have. Uh, quote unquote choice right like a main choice when you go and queue up all right so one last bonus tip guys if you actually notice the um, ranks menu when you go in game there's three paragraphs and in those paragraphs you can see that it pretty much describes how the ranking system works right so the more rounds you win 
in a game the more elo you get so it's kind of round based the way the elo works so if you win a game 13-1 you get more elo than if you win a game 13-12 so what i mean to say with this is if you're on the other end right you're in the team that's getting wrecked don't get discouraged like pull through with your efforts until the end of the game and then if you're not feeling it just take a break come back later or come back tomorrow but try to at least win as many rounds as you can when you're when you happen to be in a competitive game and you're not feeling it so this pretty much sums it up for my five quick tips on how to rank up faster in valorant i'm gonna try to rank up better and hopefully reach that radiant so if you actually haven't subscribed yet please subscribe um press that bell notification all that good stuff that helps the youtube algorithm uh, comment like and uh, if you haven't followed me on twitch i do stream but i'm getting my new pc i'm i'm building a 2080 and ryzen 9 3900 x build so i'm actually going to be able to stream with like proper frames right now i haven't been streaming much just because i have had um some friends tell me that it looks like crap even though on my end <laughs> it looks pretty good so but make sure you be able to follow me man uh, i was supposed to get my my last part yesterday for the pc and for some reason yeah whatever like shipment delayed anyway so thank you for watching the video like i said subscribe like comment and this is Babushka. Peace.